Hello friends, welcome back to the channel of Agathandra it is Toxicology. Today, let's look into the next syllabus point that is classification of Visha and Poison. From that, the first classification according to Shishradhajar is that Stavaram, Jangamam, Cheva, Dividam, Visham, Vichyade, Dashadishtana, Madhyam, Tu, Dvidiyam, Shoda, Shashrayam. That is, Visha, it is of two types that is stavara and the jangama and the stavara visha is having dasha adhishtana that is 10 adhishtanas or abodes and jangama visha they are having shoda shasrayam that is they are having 16 asrayas and the stavara visha it goes as tishtan didi stavara ya yat visham stiram stavaram that means which resides at one place that is which is stiraya stable and which is not moving that is, stays at one place it is called as stavara and jangama as gachandidi jangama that which is moving it is said to be the jangama visha when we looked into the charakacharya he is also having the opinion that the visha the classification the acharya has also classified the visha into two that is jangama and stavara Jangama stavarayam tad yonu brahma neojayad tad ambu sambhavam tasmat duvidam pava gobam that is six of two types jangama and stavara <coughs> next when we come to the ashtanga hridaya is <coughs> classified as akritrima and kritrima that is stavaram jangamam chedi visham proktam akritrimam kritrimam gara samyam tu kriyade vivitaushadehi that is, Ajari has classified broadly into Akritrema and Kritrema Visha. And the Akritrema Visha, he has again divided into Stavara and Jangama. And Kritrema Visha, he referred it as Gara. Next, when we come into the Kashya Pacharya, he has classified it into three. That is, Stavara, Jangama and Samyogaja. And again, the Samyogaja, it is divided into Gara and Kritrima. And Gara, it is said to be Nirvisha Dravya Samyoga. And Kritrima, it is said to be Sarvisha Dravya Samyoga. That is Gara, it is formed by the combination of two non-poisonous substances. And Kritrima, that is Sarvisha, which means by the combination of poisonous substances. Next, it is Sharangadara Samhita has also classified it into three. That is Stavara, Jangama and Kritrima Visha. And that Kritrima Visha, it is again divided into Gara Visha and Dosha Visha. He has also given nine Stavara Visha, seven Dhatu Visha and seven Upadhatu Visha. Next, when it comes into Yasa Tarangini, Ajaya is also classified as Stavara and Jangama. And the Stavara, it is again divided into Visha and Upavisha. Now, 9 Visha and 11 Upavisha are mentioned. The Visha include Halahala, Kalagoda, Srangaga, Pratibana, Saurashtrika, Brahmaputra, Haritraga, Sattuga and Vatsanaba. And the Upavisha goes as Visha Tinduka Beja, Ahifena, Tejaka, Tuttura Beja, Vijaya, Gunja, Balladaka, Arkakshira, Snukshira, Langali and Karavedakam. Next, we will look into the modern classification. The modern classification goes, it is broadly classified into three. That is, first, according to the chief symptoms which they produce. And second, according to the purpose or intention, for what purpose they are using. And third, according to the effect producing, how fast or yeah, how slow that poison is acting in the body. First, when it comes into according to the chief symptoms which they produce, it is divided as corrosives, irritants, systemic and miscellaneous. And according to the purpose or intention, it is given as suicidal, homicidal, accidental, stupefying, cattle poison, arrow poison and abortificant. And according to the effect produced, they are classified as fulminant, acute, subacute and chronic. Now, let's look one by one first according to the chief symptoms which they produce. In that first one is corrosives. Corrosives are those substances which cause destruction of the tissues. That it erodes the mucous membrane when it comes into contact with that. 
it is referred to as corrosives and these corrosives they include strong acids and these acids they are further classified into mineral or inorganic acids and organic acids and in the mineral acids yeah inorganic acids the examples are given as sulfuric acid nitric acid hydrochloric acid and salicylic acid and in the organic acids they are carbolic acid oxalic acid acetic acid these organic acids they are weak acids and they are formed from the organic substances we know that organic substances are those which is having a carbon hydrogen bond and the mineral or the inorganic acids they are strong acids and they do not have that carbon bond and it is non-living comes the strong alkalis the examples are given as hydrates and carbonates of sodium potassium and ammonia then the third classification is among the corrosives are metallic salts which include zinc chloride ferric chloride copper sulfate silver nitrate etc then second classification is irritants irritants means that substances which increase the rate of reaction in contact that it irritates the membrane when it comes in contact with that among that the first classification is agricultural agricultural poisons mainly example is organophosphoric poisons they are mainly agricultural poisons and they are irritants in nature then the second one is inorganic that is from non-living material that includes non and it is classified as non-metallic metallic and mechanical non-metallic compounds include phosphorus iodine chlorine bromine carbon tetrachloride and among the metallic poisons examples are arsenic antimony copper lead mercury etc and the mechanical irritants they include powdered glass diamond dust and hair etc they cause irritation to the membranes when it comes in contact with it next one is organic irritants which include vegetable and animals vegetable poisons include apres precrotoris that is gunja castor arenda cot croton calotropis aloes etc and among the animal irritants organic irritants it include snake insects venom cantharides tome etc next next systemic that means which system they are affecting in that the first classification is cerebral poisons and the cerebral poisons it is again classified as cns depressants cns stimulants and delirium cns depressant matlab that which depresses the working or functioning of the central nervous system and cns stimulants which, which stimulates the central nervous system and delirians delirians mean delirium means they are the poison which is acting on the brain and they are inducing altered consciousness with the confusion delusions hallucinations agitations etc and in the cns depressant group examples are alcohols general anesthetics opioid anesthetics analgesics uh, hypnotic sedatives etc and the cns stimulants include cyclic antidepressant drugs amphetamine caffeine etc and thirdly delirium poison the examples are datura belladonna cannabis cocaine etc second spinal poison which are affect on the spinal cord the examples are nexomica and gelsemina then next up peripheral which affects the peripheral nervous system the examples include corneum and curare then cardiovascular poison that is which affects the heart that is our cardiovascular system the examples are econite quinine oleander tobacco cyanide etc next classification is asphyxiants which has effect on our respiratory system or on the lungs they include carbon monoxide carbon dioxide hydrogen sulfide etc then the next classification it include miscellaneous that is other than these poisons they are classified as miscellaneous poisons which include that of food poisoning that uh, the medications which are used in daily in our life for, as an antipyretic whenever we have fever etc we used to take 
<clears throat> antipyretic drugs and whether a small pain is that we are taking analgesics they all when they are taken in the excess or in abnormal quantity it acts as a poison or NSAIDs that is non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs antihistamines anti-infective etc they have an adverse effect to our body then our next classification was according to the purpose or intention and in that first one is suicidal suicidal poisons are those poisons which is used to kill oneself and most mainly the agricultural poisons organophosphorus compounds etc which are easily available they are taken for the suicidal purposes then next to the homicidal homicidal means the act of killing others that is one the act by which one person kills the or cause harms to the other it is called as homicidal poisoning and the main drugs which are used as arsenic salts of mercury opium etc and the third class causes accidental poison that is without any intention they are accidentally intaken and uh, the examples include alcohol copper sulfate etc next is the abortive that drugs which are given for the purpose of abortion that also they may have adverse effects on the body which has calotropis only and the econite etc next class of poison is cattle killing for because of enmity etc the cattle or due to any diseases and all the cattle they are killed and for that the drugs used are gunja only and the econite etc and the next group is stupefying poisons that is which uh, makes which is used to fool others it's in case of robbery rape etc some drugs are given to the person in order to nullify her in order to depress their brain and their consciousness they have altered consciousness they are using some type of drugs and that drugs is comes under group of stupefying poisons <clears throat> examples are datura cannabis indica chloral hydrate etc then the next is arrow poison that is which is used in the arrows for killing of the animals etc and for that gunja calotropis econite strychnine etc is used next is the last classification goes as according to the effect produced how they are going to affect on the body in that first we have look we have seen that fulminant type of poison fulminant means they are produced by a massive dose of poison by which death occurs very rapidly sometimes without any preceding symptoms that is within 5 hours that is its action is very fast yeah, there will be no predominant symptoms etc it is formed by the produced by the massive dose of poison and the death occurs very rapidly next is the acute poison acute poison is it is produced by a single large dose or several small doses taken in a short period and its onset is usually abrupt that is within 2 to 3 days if a poison is acting in 2 to 3 days or it is produced by a single large dose or several small doses taken in a short period it is said to be an acute poisoning case next the classification is chronic poisoning chronic poison it is produced by small doses taken over a long period and the onset is usually insidious that is 2 weeks the chronic poison the small doses are taken for a long period and the last classification is sub acute poisoning in which the poison which lies between acute and chronic poison that is it usually occurs within 1 to 2 weeks it is neither acute nor chronic it lies between that and it comes under the sub acute poisoning okay and um, let's stop today's topic next video thank you